37 right now. Okay, let's talk about this to your health. Ultimately, really a beautiful story. Through the darkness of Beryl shined a hero, a pharmacist at CVS, credited with saving the life of a teenager who was at risk of dangerous seizures. Yeah, health reporter Haley Hernandez is here now with that story. Haley. Yeah, good morning, guys. So during Hurricane Barrel, when everybody was dealing with power outages, so were pharmacies. But one dad in desperate need of anti-seizure meds for his son crossed paths with a pharmacist who recognized the name of the prescription he needed and that a child's life was on the line. I was here when Hurricane happened and like everywhere, the CVS pharmacy on 75th in South Houston was paralyzed without electricity. We completely, we completely lost, lost power. power. It meant pharmacy manager Cynthia Kacharian couldn't document transactions of controlled substances. All right, let's move this. And that was a dangerous stalemate for Kevin and his 15 year old son Zaire. Without this medication, you know, his seizures will definitely continue. We've tried to wean this medication, even in the small amounts, and his, his seizures just come back very rapidly. Zaire has been battling seizures since he was eight years old, and it's some of the worst kinds of seizures you can imagine. It's called fires, Gotta push a little bit. which means without medication, his seizures would rapidly happen one right after another. And during the hurricane, Zaire was dangerously close to uncontrollable seizing. We have emergency meds, so if I have a seizure for like five minutes. But then there's also medications that you take to prevent the seizures altogether. They had to figure out what kind of medications would help prevent his seizures to kind of bring it to zero to where he was having the least amount of medications a day. But if he doesn't have the medications, the amount can range and that number can be very, very high. Is this a life or death situation for you guys? It can be. It, it, it can be to our knowledge because that medication could send him into seizure after seizure after seizure, which then we would have to rush him to the hospital. I was like, we just need the medication as soon as possible. And she didn't even need to know how desperate we needed the medication. She just immediately went into action. So Luckily for them, Cynthia was coming up with her own game plan. On my way home, I remembered, um, what can I do? Can I call his doctor? What can I do to help this patient? With this class of medication, it has to be taken at the same time, at the same day, every day. He, the patient cannot skip any doses, cannot wait a couple hours to take the medication. It is really important for him to be uh, compliant. And in the nick of time, she got what they all needed. Um, I was on the phone with help desk trying to find a solution. Where can I locate it? How can I locate it? What can I do? I had to manually go through each waiting bin in the dark, try to find his medication. Luckily, I found it and I was really happy. Once I located it, I got permission to see if I can actually dispense the medication to the patient because of course, with this class of medication, I need to see his ID and scan it in the system. She could have told him the store was closed. She could have said without power, there was nothing else she could do, but. That wouldn't align with what I learned at school and what CDS tells us to do. So we are here to help the patients despite when we don't have power, despite uh, what we're going through, we're always gonna be trying our best to help patients. And Kevin and Zaire tried to make it known how much they appreciate that. She went above and beyond. Let me do what I need to just to show my appreciation. I saw by the store, I was able to get her a gift card, a thank you card, and just, you know, just let her know how much I appreciated the steps that she took to give me the medication that he definitely needed. And it says, life is crammed with things to take care of, and still you make time um, to show you care. And as pharmacists, this is what we're here for. We're here um, to serve the community, to help the people. Yeah, thanks to the CVS. <laughs> thanks, CVS. <laughs> So the pharmacist wants you to see this story and remember to keep your prescriptions filled during hurricane season because you never know when this could happen, what could happen. In Kevin's case, they were out of town on the week of July 4th. They came home right as the storm was hitting. So actually the medication was filled and at the store, they just couldn't get to it. Uh, right. So, but of course now he says, you know, he'll keep medication on hand during <laughs> yeah, the hurricane season. Good. But one quick question, Haley, could someone just have gone to a different pharmacy that did have power in order to get that medication? In most cases, but not in this case, because the drug that they needed was a controlled substance. And so that oh, in, right. in this case was not allowed to be transferred to another pharmacy. Yes, it's controlled. Story. Well, I'm glad oh, she's just an angel. I know. She's just an angel. I know. We're happy that the two of them crossed paths when yeah. they did. No kidding. Yeah. All right, no Haley, kidding. thank you so much.